Hey everyone, in this video I just want to go over some bad melee Roy habits that you should get rid of. If you play Roy in melee, you probably do a lot of these without realizing how bad they are. Obviously there isn't a lot of information about Roy, so don't feel bad. Basically everyone who has played Roy in melee does these, including Don't Test Me. Oh, you're so and after explaining each one, I'm going to show you what you should be doing instead. I hope all of these will be simple enough to understand. And all of these are going to be pretty simple changes, but they make a big difference to clean up your gameplay a lot. The first bad Roy habit is going to be jumping whenever you knock someone down with down tilt. Basically, how this happens is whenever you down tilt someone, if they hold down while getting hit, they'll get knocked down. Whenever this happens, almost every single Roy on the planet will jump, either trying to avoid a getup attack or come down on them with a tip or dare or something. Now, the reason this is bad is because as Roy, your grounded options are always going to be better than your options in the air. Grab, down tilt, forward smash, down smash, side B, all of those moves are better than like all of your aerials combined. Now, there's nothing wrong with doing this every once in a while, sometimes it's, it's a fine option. But there are two objectively better things to do in this situation in most cases. The first is going to be double down tilting. The second is immediately bringing up your shield by holding left or right and shielding. I'm going to explain double down tilting first. Whenever your opponent gets knocked down, your opponent is vulnerable while in this animation, so your best way to punish this is just to down tilt them again whenever they get knocked down. If you can get decent at this, you're, instead of your combo ending every time your opponent gets knocked down, you'll basically get free damage and you get to continue your combo. Another good option is whenever they get knocked down is just instantly F smashing them. It's pretty easy. Uh, to do as the timing is basically the exact same as like down tilting uh, down tilt F smashing a fox or falco at like zero so the timing is basically the exact same as doing that remember you're not reading your opponent getting knocked down you shouldn't just randomly try to down tilt twice all it is is whenever you down tilt a grounded opponent just acknowledge the fact that they might get knocked down and be ready for it by the way, you can practice the timing of this in Uncle Punch by setting their DI to down and away and tech option to miss tech. Now, they can tech it, but most people don't tech it. If your opponent keeps holding down, you can potentially get like triple and quadruple down tilts and like, always remember that this is not a tool to beat crouch cancel. I've heard some people say that double down tilt beats crouch cancel and it doesn't. If someone is properly CCing your down tilts, they'll never get knocked down until like 8 billion percent. It is, however, a tool to beat bad down holders. Try to recognize moments your opponent will want to hold down. A lot of people like to hold down after a tech, after a spot dodge, after a laggy move, after like a tether grab or something. Certain characters like Link, Young Link, Mario, Doc, Samus, and Spacey's will be holding down and spot dodging a lot. So you can punish that by double down tilting. If you master this technique, your Roy will go from a level one skeleton to a level 1000 Mexican. As I mentioned earlier, your other good option is to immediately bring up your shield whenever your opponent gets knocked down. To do this, you just down tilt and then hold left or right and shield. It's a pretty good option and avoids get up attack and allows you to continue into a tech chase. The second bad Roy habit is going to be down tilt fair at low percents. Just stop doing it. It sucks, all right? It's not good. Down tilt Nair is just going to be objectively better in almost every situation. It does more damage, it knocks down earlier, the tipper is way better, your follow-ups are better, you won't get counter hit nearly as hard. The problem with using forward air and up air and back air and, you know, those three at low percents is that they simply don't have enough hits done. D down air as well, if you use a down air meteor at low percents, they don't have enough hits done and they don't knock down. Your opponent usually becomes actionable before you are and either lands on the stage and avoids your follow up or they just counter hit you. So if you're going to use fair and up air, you generally want to use them as close to the ground as possible so you can actually get like true follow ups off them. Versus fast followers, you can usually stick to solely down tilt and grab, then once they're past like super low percent, you can down tilt and then do a short hop nair. Uh, then once they're past like mid percent, you can start doing fair and up air more reliably. Versus some characters like Sheik and Roy, you can do a down tilt short hop nair or full hop nair at zero depending on uh, DI. Versus basically every other character, you can do down tilt full hop nair at zero. Obviously, you can get away with using your other aerials at low percents, they're just not as good. The third bad Roy habit is going to be waiting for your opponent's get up option after using Meteor Dare. 
When you meteor an opponent and they miss their tech, you don't have to wait for their getup option before following up. You can instantly down tilt, F smash, or down smash. Yes, a lot of the time when you down air them, they can choose a bad option and you can kill them for it, but you never want to give your opponent the chance to escape, obviously. A common thing Roy's do is down tilt down airing their opponent onto the stage, and then they try to catch their getup option. This isn't a horrible option, as long as you do it at a percentage, down air will force them into attack, you know, knock them down. And sometimes it's really your only option, but we can do better than that. On fast fallers, you can do a short hop down air and down tilt, F smash, or down smash their missed tech. If they hit their tech, it'll be a little trickier, but you can still follow up and continue your combo. On mid fallers, you can combo dare into F smash or down smash at kill percent. Now they can meteor cancel it, but again, people don't know how to fight Roy, so they're probably not going to meteor cancel it. On floaties, you can get some similar stuff, mostly just on Peach, but it's pretty hard because floaties suck. The last bad Roy habit I'm going to talk about is down tilting to cover tech in place every time. If you have some decent Roy knowledge, you'll know that when your opponent is forced to tech, a slightly delayed down tilt will be able to hit an opponent's tech in place or miss tech. This is a super good option for Roy, and there's a reason why everyone does it. The reward is just insane, but the problem comes when you keep doing it when your opponent is sufficiently mixing up their techs. Let's say you forward throw a fox and wave dash forward and do a delayed down tilt to catch their tech in place. If they roll behind you, you won't be fast enough to catch a tech roll with a grab every single time. In my opinion, covering tech in place with down tilt works best as a strong mix up rather than something you do every single time. If you're more fancy, you can do a down tilt turnaround down tilt to cover more. A normal grab reaction tech chase will usually be more reliable even though it will result in less damage. Always make sure to acknowledge your opponent's tech habits and destroy them for it. And inhalate them for it. Another similar thing to this that I used to do a lot was tech chase, wave dash, back, forward smash. Now there's nothing wrong with it if it's working, you know, but it's not really like the perfect option. The mental damage alone and inflicts is pretty good. But if your opponent has to tech in the corner, you should know that you can cover more by walking forward first. Then you can F smash when they tech away, tech in place, miss tech, or F smash behind you when they tech in. So there you go, there's my four bad Roy habits that you should get rid of, and what you should do instead. I hope uh, you enjoyed watching that, and I hope you understood everything I was saying, and I hope your Roys will be a lot cleaner now. Thank you for watching, and uh, have a good one.